Hey guys, it's me now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Blaine, and, who was the 7th gym leader, and... 23 and a half hour, what? Nah, uh, th this is actually the second day, um... Because I completely botched things up. So yeah. Uh, the 8th gym leader, by the way, is a mysterious figure we shall not know. Unless if you actually want to go up there right now, because this is optional. Um, so anyway, so I've got Speedy up front, just because I want someone... Who, I want a Pokemon who uh, doesn't, you know, take hits or that can run because there's no trainers in the Seafoam Islands. Uh, now the Seafoam Islands does have a lot of wild Pokemon. Uh, also, make sure you've got a Pokemon that knows Strength because you're gonna need that. I guess you need Surf in order to get it. Uh, so the Seafoam Caverns, the Seafoam Islands, has a lot has a lot of wild Pokemon. Now, I would say that I would like to see all of them, but I'm not. You know why? I planned ahead. Well, between parts, I bought a couple of Super Repels. So yeah, so what a Super Repel does is that if there's any Pokemon higher level, or if there's any Pokemon low level that should spawn right now, it actually skips it for 200 and something steps. It doesn't exactly tell you how many steps that is, but pretty much it's okay. Uh, so yeah. Now, for the Seafoam Islands, you're going to need to push several boulders down holes, because there is a river at the very bottom, and in order to cross that river, you will need to, um, you will need to block, uh, block the river with stones, because otherwise then it's too tough to swim. To surf through. So yeah, now there's quite a lot of Pokemon, as I said, that you can find in the Seafoam Caverns. There's also a couple of hidden items. They're not really that useful though. A Nugget, a Max Elixir, and an Ultra Ball. And they're all hidden. Uh, you can, by the way, jump down these holes. Uh, except, you know, there's not really any grand purpose to do so. Uh, you also don't want to drop down too many holes, so for example, I'm not going to drop down that hole because I have no clue where that goes. Uh, but I will walk around here. Uh, by the way, points for Pokemon X. When you run out of a repel, it asks you, do you want to use another one? That is brilliant. I love it. Uh, yeah, so you want to see if you can get a boulder down every hole on the lower floors. Um, I believe these are the only two boulders on the, f on the second floor down. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about some wild Pokemon. On the top floor, you can find a uh, seal. Seal is very common. Uh, seal is a very good water Pokemon. It evolves into Dugong, which is a water ice Pokemon at level 34, which is actually really close when you think about it. It's really close when you catch them, yeah. Um, uh, it knows good moves. Uh, it's a little bit low stat for right now, but honestly, you can evolve it so quickly, so it's okay. Uh, you can also catch Krabby in Pokemon Blue. Um, there you go, so my repel wore off. You can catch Krabby in Pokemon Blue. Uh, his evolution, really good. Um, Kingler, he evolves into Kingler at level 28, which you can actually find Krabbies that are higher level than level 28, so pretty much you can evolve them right away. Uh... His HP and special stats are a bit low, but his attack and defense are very high, and I would recommend him. He's pretty good uh, as a water type. Of course, Dugong has a bit better moveset. Um, uh, so yeah, you can also get a, a Shelda if you're playing Pokemon Red. There's staircases everywhere. Uh, um, we came in that way, so there's a down. Yeah, yeah, there's a down over here. Uh, you can also get Staryu in blue, you can get Slowpoke, Zubat, you can also get Psyduck, we haven't seen a Psyduck before. Uh, Psyduck, very well-rounded base stats, and he evolved at level 33, again, pretty close. Uh, Psyduck kind of sucks though, he doesn't really learn a lot of great moves, and, and, uh, really, you know, he's not that great. Uh, you can, you can catch Golduck in this place as well, uh, who is the evolution. Yeah, he's not that great. I would skip a gold arc. In fact, he's so rare. He's 1% chance in only Pokemon Red in the higher floors. 
In the lower floors, you can find them a bit more common, I think. I think I do need to drop down to some of the lower floors. Uh, well, I can go down to this floor. Oh, yep, there's all the there's all the boulders. <laughs> okay. Oh, propeller off. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now what else can you do? You can also find Jugong, which is the evolution of Seal. As I said, um, he's very good, like extremely good. And you can also find Kingler. Those are pretty much all the new Pokemon you can find. However, you, if you need a good water type or anything, Nugget. By the way, that, that's actually pretty easy to find. That's way, can you not? Can you not go down? You have to go down from the lower floors. Okay. To be honest, it's only like a little part of a uh, of uh, the side. Yeah, there's the water. So yeah, so you need to block the water current, because it's flowing. And if you botch this up, you gotta start all over again, it's kind of annoying. Max Alexa. Okay. So I want to see what we're doing first. So you can surf here, I think. Oh, there, there you go, there's your current. Um, well, I think I know where that other boulder is. I think I do know where that other boulder is, but I gotta go all the way up the top, and ugh. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, so... This is definitely a great place to catch Pokemon. It's a little bit maze-like, though. I wouldn't recommend staying there for too long. Bring an escape rope or a teleport if you have no clue how to navigate this place, because it's a bit tough. It's a bit tough, and as, uh, I don't know if I've said this, but it's completely optional. So yeah, so you can jump down these. For example, I can jump down that hole, so I can push this down. Uh, so this is the only other thing on the, uh, the second basement floor. So this is the third basement floor, and you can actually go all the way down to the bottom. Danger! Fast current! Think, did I block it? Can I surf here? Can I surf here? Did I block it? Did I succeed in blocking? Yes, I did succeed in blocking. Okay, so once you block the... the river... somewhere... There's the Ultra Ball. <laughs> I, I don't need an Ultra Ball, silly! Actually, this isn't the current, is it? Why are they telling me that? Maybe it's up here. You may never know. Uh, so yeah. Now, it, basically what you need to do is that you need to stop the current, I think, here. Yeah, current is too fast. So you need to stop the current on this side because... I don't know if you can see it, but basically you want to get onto that platform that we just saw up the top there. Okay. All this might change the flow of water. Why are they telling you that? Seriously. So yeah. Now, basically, what I think you're supposed to do is try and get one boulder in each of these holes. Also, I think if you go up... Yeah, there's nothing really to look at. Up. You need the... You need those, uh, two boulders in order to block that one... In order to block the water... Here. Because I think now I'm allowed to swim here. Yeah. Because I'm allowed to swim here, am I allowed to go up here? And you're actually allowed to exit this way. Like, that, that staircase actually exits you from the whole place. So technically, it takes a bit of effort to get onto the other side of this river, by the way. Uh, also, there's a trainer on the outside of that side, so I'm going to have to fight him. We will get at least one trainer battle this part. Uh, so let's see, how do we do this? You see that there's two boulders right there. And I have... And I'm not too sure how you get in there. 
because it looks like I will have to relinquish like one of those boulders. Okay, let me see. Well, I think I think I will get rid of this one boulder on the right because I, th I think you can't really get rid of this one because you can't push it away from the wall. So I think it's only here just to trick you. Cause yeah, cause how do you push this one away from the wall? You can't do that. Uh, on top of that, I think this one here, you can't really do anything about that. Cause again, it's up against the wall and you can't go around it. Yeah, it's up against the wall, you can't do anything about that, so yeah. Uh, and then I think you're just gonna push a boulder down each of these holes. But... You don't wanna push it too far down, so you wanna push it this way and then go around. I got this. Repel wore off. Quick! Repel! Okay, push that down the hole. And I think... Also, that just made us surf right away. Anyway, with that, we can surf! And now, save. Legit, save. Because seriously, this Pokemon only appears once in the game. And if you mess this up, you're actually missing out on one of the best Pokemon in the game. Which is why I'm not using it on my ending team, but aside from that, let's do this! So yeah. So this is... The legendary bird, Articuno. Holy snap, it looks weird in this game. <laughs> this is one of the three legendary birds that we may have been hearing about. I don't know. I'm gonna Thunder Wave it, straight up. Uh, dealing a status condition is one of the best ways to catch Pokemon. But it knows Ice Beam, it's level 50. Which means it's really strong. Like, really strong. I'm gonna use Thunderbolt and hope that saves off a good chunk of health. That is a very good chunk of health. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Thank you. Thundershock. I just, oh, can I do another Thundershock? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not gonna chance it, quick attack. Now you wanna whittle it down, okay, maybe that, maybe that was a bit too safe. <laughs> That's a bit too safe, okay. Uh, yeah, use, use the next Pokemon. Uh, let's see, who would be a good, Snoozer would be a good tank. So yeah. So, sleeping and freezing are better for, um, are better to catch Pokemon. They give you a higher chance. However, those are also the only two status conditions that they can actually escape. Uh, that they can get out of that state. I missed! Oh, I missed. I think he actually... Wait, here we go. Here we go! There we go! Two balls. There's Articuno. So yeah. Anyway, Articuno. Really high base stats. It's a legendary, so I guess yeah. It's special defense sets are pretty much unmatched. Um, it's really good moves. And if, the only bad thing I can really say is that this is probably the hardest one to get. Just because you need good strategy in order to catch that bird. Other than that though, if you can do that, and to be honest, the C4 Marlins isn't that bad, because all you really need to do is just push two boulders twice. If you could do that, then yeah. Now, this part's not over yet. We have another legendary bird to catch. And we're catching all of these in order, which is kind of neat. Uh, I'm gonna swim... actually... Do I swim down there? No, I don't. I can't swim there. Oh, I swim across from the top, of course, yeah. On the floor above, yeah. We, we do have a trainer battle. <laughs> we need to do that trainer battle. I will not accept defeat! If we do not get all the trainer battles. So yeah, so Anakuno probably is one of the the best ice type in the game. I always keep talking about uh, the other ice types, uh, every single other Pokemon, because uh, um, I talk about every single other Pokemon as if these legendaries didn't exist. Just because some people in tournaments don't like using these legendaries, because they're the ultimate power, basically. Caught a legendary bird, man. And what, what you were like? Oh, you're gone on vacation. Tentacool. He's 
am I sending out? Grabo! Oh, sweet. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so... Hanakuna probably is the worst of the birds to catch, just because its location is a bit out there. I guess the third bird would be kind of tough, too. The second one... Nah. The second one's pretty easy. Ah, water gun. Uh, that being said, you can grab this Pokemon pretty much right away. Uh, once you once you beat Koga and get Surf. Uh, because nothing really stops you from entering the Seafoam Islands. However, I recommend doing it pretty much at the end of Cinnabar, just because then all your Pokemon are around level 40, because it's level 50 and it's kind of strong. Like, seriously, it took out... It took out, um, Speedy pretty quickly with an Ice-type attack that's special. Uh, but, you know, it's not that bad. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now, in order to get the next bird, we're going to need to fly... Did I just say move snooze or not? We're going to need to fly to Cerulean City. Now, if you want to, you can go from Lavender, and that way you don't need to carry a Pokemon on your team that has cut right now. I'm, I'm gonna heal right now, but basically, what we need to do is that we need to get to that Pokemon Center on Route 10. Uh, just because that's where the next bird is. Yes, I hope to see you again. So I have to bring ducks out for one last time, because to be honest, I don't think you need cut at all, pretty much. Uh... Okay, I'll deposit. Jeez. Stop. Uh... Who, who won't need leveling? Moopy might need leveling. Uh... But to be honest, I don't actually need to carry Moopy right now. Uh... Now... Plus, there's also a... a Pokemon Center just next to the place, so all you really need to do is just use ducks in order to get through the route. So anyway, yeah, so now we're back to Route 9. Good fun. Great times ahead. Also, you don't need repels. I just brought a bunch of them because I didn't know how long I'd be. Also, you saw that guy with the weird thing on his head, even though that's pretty much a cave entrance just behind him? Still not open yet. He's only open once you beat the game. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. That's why I was just like, why were they talking about the three legendary birds and then Cerulean Cave? Because Cerulean Cave is actually not available. But you can get all the legendary birds before you beat the game. Which is why some websites like Strategy Wiki actually recommend that you get the legendary birds and then you get something like Dugong, Alakazam, and whatever the last Pokemon they put on the team. Uh, it feels good to walk past all these people and like, I beat you like about 20 episodes ago, but that's okay. Pretty much all we need to do is just get over here to Route 10. Uh, now I'm actually gonna... Who did I put away? I put away Moopy. I don't, I don't really need to take Moopy out right now. So, I'm pretty lazy, I'm just gonna walk outside. Now, bring a Pokemon with Surf, because you're going to need a Pokemon with Surf. Now, again, you can technically get to this place uh, as soon as you get Surf, but... Yeah, I think it's best to do near the end of the game, because also, you can't get the third bird until a bit later. Now, once you Surf down here, there is a trainer. There is a trainer. Which is really annoying. He's got... Pokemon. Now, he has a Rhyhorn level 30. I, I just brought Eevee into this. Speak to you. Uh... Ooh, snap. Clam Clam, you're a pretty low level. Stomp. Surf! You cannot best the Surf. So, yeah. Now again, the power plant doesn't actually have any trainers. I mean, it's got one outside. It's got a lick of tongue. Ha 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 ha! You have stupid Pokemon. 
Lick a tongue, it looks dumb. Lick a tongue, it looks pretty dumb. It's also pretty dumb. Lick a tongue. Get some experience, you know. Cause we're going to need we're going to need some of these level ups. I'm not angry, I'm just very disappointed. Okay, so power plant, okay. Now this place hidden I didn't chuck any items out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the box where I'm gonna chuck some items out. I'll be right back. And we are back. Anyway, let's go into the power plant. It reminds me a bit of the Pokemon Mansion, you know? Now, in this power plant, we have a bunch of Pokemon. You can find Voltorbs. There they are actually, um... There are actually quite a few, uh, Voltorbs that are actually planned Pokemon. There's a car boss. I feel like selling it, but again, I also don't really want to hold on to inventory space. Because I got a lot of TMs just fogging up the space now. Um, so there's Magmite. So you can get Voltorbs, Pikachus, Magmite, Magneton, and you can get a new Pokemon, Electabuzz. Uh, only in Pokemon Red. In Pokemon Blue, you can find Raichus, but... Yeah... Um, there's only one hidden item in this place, and it's kind of near the end. By the way, I just want to say that there are actually, um, there's, there's a 5% Raichu right there. It's okay, but it's Raichu, you know, like, yeah. Uh, but Electabuzz. Electabuzz, very good speed, pretty good moveset, um, but it doesn't evolve, and it's only available in red. Also, you will find six Voltorbs as items. You will just find them on the ground. They're level 40. If you want an Electrode, catch one of these. There's six of them in this place, and you can get a very good Electrode. Uh, you can also just run away from them. You know, for being the fastest Pokemon in the game. Uh, you can head to the right here, there's two more Voltorbs. I know, it's just like... What? But okay. Cause to be honest, I'm a little bit constrained for time. I, d I don't want to drag out this place too much. And to be honest, yeah, they they are Voltorbs, and they're all the same Voltorbs. They're all level 40. Uh, but they're they're pretty good if you want to get an Electro, cause Electro is a pretty good type. That's that's oh yeah, I didn't notice. So there are six Voltorbs in total, by the way. Uh, I actually like how um. In Gold and Silver, they actually had a moment where they, you had to defeat three Electrodes that were pretty high level. This is TM33, by the way, which is Reflect. It's a pretty good move. I would say Reflect is a pretty good move. Uh, that's a Voltorb. That's a Voltorb. Pretty much that, that was all the Voltorbs. Yeah. <laughs> They're just kind of here in the middle. Uh, this place, by the way, there's no puzzle. All you have to do is really just kind of walk around the whole thing. Uh, there are a few items. In fact, you know what? I've got them. I may as well use them. Uh, this is TM25. It is Thunder. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on rest. I would like to use TM25 uh, on, um, on Speed V. Oh, you lied to me, Bulba P. You said there were seven of them. You said there were six, sorry. That's more than six. Also, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's seven. In fact, that's more than seven. That's quite a few more. Okay, so basically there's a lot of Voltorbs. If you want a good Voltorb, go get one. And there are also two hidden items. Okay, well, that's brilliant. Hey, where's this? There's an item. HP up. Always good. I feel like I'm gonna run out of inventory space soon, though. Rare candy. I'll take that. 
Uh, let's also a PP up in the Max Elixir somewhere. Somewhere. I have no clue where they are. Oh, okay. Well, the Max Elixir is pretty far away. Like, quite far away. It was back in that room with the Vault Orbs and Electrodes. Thankfully, the PP up is in this one. So I'll take that. Now, again... Here you are. Oh, I don't mind a repel war off. Cause here you go, here's the bird. Save. Please save. Seriously, you don't want to waste these opportunities to get these really good Pokemon. Cause if you botch this up... Then that's it. Okay, so... Let's do it! So anyway, so this is, uh... Zapdos. Uh, by the way, two of the electro- uh, sorry, two of those Voltorbs are actually Electrodes. By the way. So there are eight fake Pokémon. And two of them are Electrodes. Thunderwave! Why wouldn't you? That sound. Now, Zapdos only knows two moves. I, I'm not too sure what the moves are, but he only knows two of them. Uh, however, that being said, his speed is so high. He's not as fast as Electro, though. Uh, Drill Peck is one of them. I'm assuming the other one is like an electric type attack. Uh, but that being said, um, that being said, uh, he's also... He learns some really good moves, and he's electric type. If you want a good electric type Pokemon, Zapdos is one of your best bets. If you, if you miss Zapdos, try for the one of the uh, Voltorb for Electrodes. They're pretty good too. But this uh, Zapdos, did I just kill him? Dang it! Dang it! I wasn't paying attention. Once more with feeling. So yeah. Um. Again, Zapdos is a bit is a legendary, so be warned. Be warned, because if you kill it, you botched up, and your Pokédex is forever not 100%. Oh, so this time it gets me with a crit. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Can I get a crit? Thank you! I'll take a crit. Okay, just not another crit. Actually, I'm okay with another crit. I'm okay with another crit. Yeah, so he knows Drill Pick and Thundershock. Which, Thundershock is a bit of an interesting thing to have. But I guess if you want a really good uh, Electro-type Pokemon, Zapdos is... I missed. I can't even hear the electric. So yeah, by the way, that use next Pokemon, if you press no, that counts as running. It doesn't always run, but it's basically like... If you're able to run, then it will. Great ball! Come on! Why? Why am I missing? He's right there! He's paralyzed! He's paralyzed! Why am I missing? Articuno didn't have this problem. I also don't know how I can attack him without killing him. I have no co Oh, okay, so... I was about to say, I have no clue how I can attack him without killing him, and I was just like, oh, I got a level 8 Pokemon on me. Uh, Clam Clam? I don't know if Clam Clam can actually do this without killing him. Clamp? I clamp once and hope that hope for the best. Killed him. You know what? Third time's the charm. Oh my goodness, it's a Zapdos. So yeah. So yeah, so... I, I actually think they give you a punch is... Don't lean on your fast forward button, please. Oh my gosh. That's, it's totally professional when you lean on your fast forward button. I mean, there's some people who use their Game Boy players, and then there's like me, who just uses an emulator, because I never bought Game Boy player. Mm -hmm. 
Also, my battery kind of in my game is dead, so. I can't really do anything about that. Also, it's kind of easier using an emulator if you're just recording, because then you can save state. I mean, I know it's like, oh yeah, you save state, you're a cheater. But it's like, it's actually handy to have save states, because if a recording messes up, you can fall back on a save state. Ah! No, oh, he's using my tactics against me. And he gets crits as well. Okay, so he's not as f he's not as close to death this time, though. Ducks. Well, you know, I'm hoping that he gets paralyzed when he tries that, but no, it never works. Uh, snoozu. So I wonder, am I actually going to miss with the ball this time? I really should buy more balls, but to be honest, I'm not really catching anything else. And to be honest, I'm not even using this on my team, so... Okay, how am I still missing? It's paralyzed. If I try if I try attacking, it's going to kill him. Pretty much no matter what. Oh my gosh! I'm too strong for this! Okay, come on. Fourth time? Do we have to do this four times to get it? You know, Articuno just got like quick fast. Zapdos, he's just fast. So I can't really do anything about that. I really should have brought Mookie, because Mookie also knows Thunder Wave. Uh, Thunder Bottom. I can't really put him to sleep. Freezing him is pretty much out of the question, because I don't trust my 10% chance with Ice Beam. I also don't trust that I'll be able to last long enough to do it, but... Anyway. Ah, he keeps Thunder Shocking. Also, Zapdos is fast. If he had a move that did a crit, it would be a crit. But then again... Then again, you don't have to be too fast to do that. Please don't crit. Okay. And also, please stay alive. Thank you. Uh, quick attack. Don't kill it. Oh my gosh! Cause, he would've... Ah. By the way, at the end there, do you see how I just got 1,500 experience? Pretty much, like, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an alright amount of experience, but it's just like... It's not really the most necessary bit of experience you need. You may as well catch it. Fully paralyzed, yo. So, at the rate we're going at... So this is the sixth time I'm trying this. Where's the fifth? I've, I've lost count already. And of course a crit drill pack. That's not very effective. Because flying isn't very effective against electric in this game. Uh, okay, I don't trust them to fall team, so I'm just gonna shop him. And it's gonna crit anyway. Nope. They need to get him lower, but... That'll be good enough. I will take it. I will take that. Grabo, you haven't stood out here. Uh, I can't really do anything. Guillotine, yeah, gr great move. Why does he keep missing? He's paralyzed. The only other way I can get him is with Ice Beam, but... I don't really have anything else that would help. Red Candy. Red Candy, that's the best way to catch him. Clam Clam, you can do this. Wait, why did I just use Surf? I'm a smart. <sighs> you know, it took me like a minute to get Articuno. 
and Zapdos isn't actually being caught. You know, I'm actually very confused, because the, cap the capture formula in this game is actually a bit different to, pre uh, to later games. In later games, it's based on the amount of health that your opponent, uh, that your Pokemon has, uh, and then how much, um, how much damage you've dealt. However, depending on what kind of ball you use, it just kind of pulls like a random number, just straight out. And actually, if they if they have a status condition on them, and that random number is a certain number, it just automatically catches them. So I'm just really unlucky right now. So because Zapdos has a very low catch rate, it just has a very low chance of being caught. In fact, yeah, it's always going to break free. Pretty much whenever I try and get it. Now, so basically what it is is that if you're using a Pokeball, it generates a random number between 0 and 255. If you are using a Great Ball, it generates a number between 0 and 200. And if it's an Ultra Ball, it's 0 to 150. By the way, Safari Balls count as Ultra Balls, if you're wondering. Uh, I'm gonna use a Quick Attack. Uh, so yeah. Now, now, if the Pokemon is asleep or frozen, and your number is 25 or less, or is under 25, then the Pokemon is caught. If it is paralyzed, burned, or poisoned, and the value is under 12, then it is caught. If it isn't, then you have to... Uh, it does like a calculation where it multiplies the catch rate by 100, divided by the ball factor, and something. And basically, yeah. So, so basically it's the catch rate times 100 on whatever the ball factor is, so that's 255, 200, 160, or 150. But I don't know how come I'm missing, pretty much. So, yeah, gosh. I'm an idiot! I keep using an attack! By the way, I've got the Master Ball in the box. Basically, the Master Ball automatically catches any Pokémon that you throw it at, but that's the only one you get in the game. I might need it for the Zapdos! Holy snap is he taking its time! Uh, by the way, you may be wondering, uh, what's with the old, uh, you may be wondering how come you're using Great Balls and not Ultra Balls? It's possible that Ultra Balls don't actually catch Pokemon as well as Great Balls. I think in this kind of scenario, it does, so I don't know why. But it's just like, for weaker Pokemon, that have very high catch rates, using a Great Ball actually makes the formula go in the favor of the Great Ball. But seriously, like, if this Zapdos is paralyzed, and my random number is under 12, which I feel like it was with Articuno. I feel like I could do one more Thunder Shot. Or it's a crit! It's a crit! Articuno! That's what it looks like it's saying. That is a Zapdos, though. That's the problem. Also, apparently, unlike later generations, because, uh, because dealing a status condition and then throwing a ball get, gives, like, a certain value where it automatically catches, that actually means that it, it's easier to catch Pokemon in the first generation because, because, say, for example, that you put a Pokemon like Mewtwo to sleep, that means that there's actually a chance of catching it just full stop. I mean, there's always a chance of catching Pokemon on full health in any game, but it's just like... But it's just like, if Flat Out gives you the same chance on every Pokemon if you deal a status condition. I 
There you go. I needed that little bit of health. Seriously. I, I just needed him to go on like that low health. I don't, I don't think, think ducks can take him. Okay. Eight balls away. Eight great balls. So I don't know what it means by you missed the Pokemon. I mean, it's just like I'm throwing a ball. And what's on Articuno? We're changing strategies. A little bit. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. I have no clue why all the balls are missing. I know I'm using a great ball, so of course an ultra ball is technically a better option. Dang it, physical attacks. Aha! Please freeze. I would greatly appreciate it. That's gonna kill me. It's a crit. Why wouldn't it be a crit? Why would it not be a crit? I just went on Wolfram Alpha, popped on the formula, popped in all the numbers. Apparently, I currently have a 25% chance of catching this at the worst case scenario of its health. Like, with individual values aside, this guy should be having a 25% chance of being caught right now. With the paralysis. I am so weak. I have literally been here for like half an hour trying to get this freaking Zapdos. So you know what? I give up. I, I gave up trying to get it with like the few great balls I had left over. So I went to the mart and bought some Ultra Balls just to catch this thing. Also apparently according to the internet, Hyper Fang does, uh, deals damage. It's an attack, it deals damage to half of your opponent's current HP. So basically, it, until they're on 1 HP, it will basically damage them until they can't. It will basically, it won't kill them. Okay, this is the most perfect scenario that I've had it in before. Except now, the difference is, I have Ultra Ball. How much will this affect the outcome? I think I have the worst luck in the world. Look at this! He has two pixels of health left! He's paralyzed! Oh! 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 You know, I was thinking, once it stopped missing, it would get him first go. Holy snap! Ah. Seriously, the, my, this recording has been going on for an hour and a bit. Anyway, with that... Bring a lot of patience when you try and catch Zapdos. With that, I'll see you guys next time. When we'll fight the gym. The last gym of the game. See you kids then. I just, I don't even want to sing along at this time. I'm just... I'm not, I'll look this up! I'm Wolf from Alpha! It says... It says... Okay. While using a Great Ball, I- in fact, I had better chance with a Great Ball. Apparently I would have had a better chance with a Great Ball, like, like... A... A decimal percentage. A better chance. But a better chance nonetheless. They were both like 25% and it took me like about... 11 tries to get that. That's just crazy.